With Squid Game taking the world by storm since its premiere on September 17th of this year, we don't think even Netflix was prepared for the mega success of the South Korean show. Sure, they probably thought it would do well, but not the numbers that it's achieved. On October 12th, Netflix reported that 111 million households watched Squid Game, making it the highest viewed show of all time on Netflix. It was recently reported that it cost only $21.4 million to produce and now is valued at nearly a billion dollars. Sorry, Bridgerton, you and your good-looking cast will have to try and up those steamy scenes for Season 2. Squid Game's success doesn't stop there, as it seems it's caught on more like a nuclear explosion instead of just wildfire. Netflix just reported their third-quarter numbers and Squid Game has jumped up to a staggering 142 million households. It just keeps going and going and going. Let's not forget all the YouTube videos out there doing crazy numbers as well. Whether it's theories or meme videos, the world just can't get enough of Squid Game. I mean, you clicked on this video, right? And now we'll ask you if you could like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell. It only takes a second. It helps us tremendously, and it's free. Right. This brings us to the question that's on everyone's mind. Should you watch Squid Game dubbed or with subtitles? Are you serious? Nah, we're joking. We all know the answer to that one. The question is, will there be a Squid Game Season 2? Well, the answer is yes. We can confirm that Squid Game Season 2 is happening, but when we get a second season is a difficult question to answer. However, the good news is we keep getting more information every day. Just a while back, Squid Game's director, Hong Dung Hyok, spoke with Variety about what was happening with Season 2 of Squid Game, and here's what he had to say. I don't have well-developed plans for Squid Game 2. It is quite tiring just thinking about it. But if I were to do it, I would certainly not do it alone. I'd consider using a writer's room and would want multiple experienced directors. You can bet that Netflix will do anything and everything to make sure he gets the best writer's room possible. But wait! Just recently, the director spoke to The Guardian and said that he was in talks with Netflix for a second season of Squid Game. Of course there's talk. That's inevitable because it's been such a success. I'm considering it. I have a very high-level picture in my mind, but I'm not going to work on it straight away." End quote. This is great news for us Squid Game fans, but begs the question, what high-level picture is he thinking of? Does he have his eye on a tentpole film or an original film he's been writing? Could it be Star Wars? We're just speculating here, but the rumor is that the film is called KO Club, which stands for Killing Old Men Club. Sense a theme here? But here's what else he had to say about the matter. Quote, There's a film I really want to make. I'm thinking about doing it first. I'm going to talk to Netflix. End quote. Squid Game's success is well-deserved as the show was masterfully put together and executed. The interwoven stories, emotionally heart-tugging, and edge-of-your-seat experience are just a few things that make the show so binge-worthy. So it's safe to say that everyone is looking forward to what the director will do next. However, let's hope he has enough standing to not drain himself the way he did making Season 1 of Squid Game. He went on to say, quote, it was physically, mentally, and emotionally draining. I kept having new ideas and revising the episodes as we were filming, so the amount of work multiplied." End quote. We've heard this happen quite a bit on productions, and most of the time it helps the series or film for the better. Just look at how Iron Man turned out. They were writing and rewriting on the day. However, it doesn't always work out for the best. Anyway, Back to Squid Game Season 2. It seems he's been thinking a lot about Season 2 and how to tackle it. His mention of a writer's room means that he really wants to be prepared and not have to drain himself like on Season 1. If you watch our videos, then you know that we're not just regurgitating what some other outlets have reported. We've reached out to our sources at Netflix about what's next for Squid Game. And they gave us some info on what's been happening behind the scenes there with season two of the hit series. If you could like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, we'd really appreciate it. It only takes a second, and it's cheaper than a hard-boiled egg. Right, we've done our obligatory YouTube peddling, so on to what our sources at Netflix had to say. Quote, All I can say is that our aim is to get the second season out before the end of 2022. It won't be easy because of the current global crisis we're still in the midst of, and there are also details to sort out with Hong Dung Yok. 
That might be the trickiest part of the whole negotiation phase because he's a very busy man. Everyone wants this to happen. It's just a question of timing and scheduling." End quote. It looks like things are in motion. You know damn well that Netflix would put out season two of The Squid Game next month if they could. So it all depends on what Hong Dung Yok wants to do first. If the director and creator of Squid Game chooses to do season two of Squid Game before his high-level film, you can expect to see it in about a year or a little more, as that's usually the timetable for Netflix shows. Personally, we would love to see the film made by the director, but it may not be the best thing for viewers to have to wait three or four years for season two of Squid Game. We're already waiting two years for the Dune sequel. Come on! With all that said, if we're to bet on it, we think Netflix will back up a dump truck full of money to Hong Dong Yok's door, and he'll start working on Squid Game season two before he shoots his high-level film. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell. This has been Clint Baker on voice and that James guy with Dan Plum on edits. See you next time.